Hey folks, back to back, and we're gonna talk about the towing capabilities of the 2015 Ford Edge and onward into the future. That's right, all the way up through the current model years, we're gonna discuss what the Ford Edge can tow, and I will tell you, they're all alike, and there's very little to do to make it tow. So let's go over how we're gonna get our towing done and uh, what we need to know to make our Ford Edge tow without much effort. First things first, one thing you're gonna notice is that your Ford Edge, you're not really gonna have anything in the display to help you determine whether you're towing because there is nothing that I've determined that there is in a Ford Edge to help you such as tow haul, sway, trailer sway, all that good stuff. Really what you need to know is where, right here, right here where this is and where this is this is the key to towing and uh, of course putting it in drive but you put it in a sport mode whatever you want to do but the whole point is is your paddle shifters are going to play into whether or not you're going to be towing good so we'll explain that also now let's go and look and see if there's any differences with the Ford Edge to determine whether or not it can tow or it can't tow. Now some of the things you have to pay attention to is do you have a trailer hitch? If you don't have a trailer hitch, that is not a problem. That can be fixed. So let's go ahead and see about the engine and the cooling fans. Now if you look here in the top of the fuse box, you actually have the positions of fuse. It doesn't tell you what fuse does what, but number 32, and number 38 and 39 are key to everything and I will tell you that every Ford Edge that can tow has a number 32 relay for the fans and a number 38 and a 39 they are not fused they are relays now every Ford Edge 2015 on up to the today's models will have these relays this is the whole system Unlike the earlier versions where you had the the 60 amp fuse or the 240 amp fuses, every Ford Edge has these relays. There is no difference at all for the towing and uh, using your Ford Edge to tow. So we're going to go ahead and put this on because there is nothing else to see here. And it just snaps right on in. And I'll do another video on this because it's got a secret too. As far as towing, if you look at the connectors, there are two connectors going from the junction box here for the relays on the back going into it. And then the fans each have two connectors also. That's right, two connectors. So what makes this thing capable of towing 3,500 pounds. Nothing special in here. It's a 2 liter EcoBoost and it could be a 2.7 Sport or it could be a 2.7 ST and guess what folks it makes absolutely no difference. Everything's the same. Now as far as your uh, 2015 through 2019 Ford Edge uh, the basic rule of thumb is they all can tow uh, 3,500 pounds. Straight off the factory floor, they are capable. There is nothing really that uh, they can't do as far as the towing. But there is one caveat to it. The uh, Ford Edge Sport and uh, the, you know, the ST. Well, with the ST, you get the trailer towing package is part of the whole shebang when you buy it so there's nothing to do with the ST as far as add-ons or anything like that but one caveat to it all is the 2015 on up is that uh, there are towing limitations the front wheel drive version that's right if you have a front wheel drive Ford Edge your maximum towing is 1500 pounds uh, that's just the way it is. But if you have a Ford Edge all-wheel drive 2.0 EcoBoost 2.7 uh, whether it be the Sport or the ST 
they are fully capable of towing 3,500 pounds. Now, what you need to do is make sure that you do check out one thing, and that is that you go and you get the trailer towing option. Now, the trailer towing package is a 53G, and that includes trailer wiring harness, four pin, a hitch receiver, and a trailer sway control. Okay, that's the package. So you could easily go buy this package at your Ford dealer and have it installed. And voila, nothing else has to be done. You now have towing. That's as simple as it, it has to be a class two hitch. Okay, that's what they, they include in all of it. But there's nothing saying you can't go to some place and buy it yourself uh, from like e-trailer and do it. And then that's all you got to do is add the class to the wiring harness. And uh, you may not get the sway control, but you can at least tow 3,500 pounds with your Ford Edge. Now, again, the front wheel drive is a whole different critter. So you're out, you're out, in the, out of the ballpark on that. The other things you have to consider when you're towing is frontal area of the trailer you're towing. And uh, basically, uh, with the Class 2 trailer towing hitch, you're limited to 30 square feet. That's it. The frontal area of the whatever you're towing, the front that hits the wind, uh, that is the front of the trailer, 30 square feet. Now, if you check that out that ain't much I mean uh, if you go what six by six you still you're still over it uh, so you know you want to make sure that whatever you do uh, you take and check out the square footage so you make sure you don't you know you don't go over that because that can also be a limitation and if uh, you have transmission overheating issues uh, for example then you know the square footage the wind resistance is going to be part of that problem. Uh, now Ford doesn't sell these except standard so if you want to get a trailer hitch uh, say you want to order it with the package uh, when you order your Ford Edge it's not going to come with the hitch. What you're going to do when you order from the dealers is oh yeah we can put trailer on it. And what happens is they get the Ford Edge in and then they get that 53 uh, what is it? 53G uh, package and then they add it on as a dealer option. That's how they do it. So if you're looking at a Ford Edge you're gonna have to buy this optional package but rest assured that's all they're gonna do is add that onto it and then it it incorporates it in and you can tow 3,500 pounds. Uh, they got rid of like I said the the fuse and amps of the first gen and then the 1.5 that's out the window. You don't you don't have any of that as far as going so it's pretty simple all you have to do is mount a class 2 hitch on it put in the appropriate wiring for the wiring harness to tow the trailer and uh, you're pretty much there sway control if you want that you're gonna have to go the Ford route or you might be able to contact somebody that uh, installs trailers now if you want to do this and don't want you know don't want to pay or whatever you can go to and I recommend going to a noted and reputable uh, camping trailer uh, place that sells camping trailers. They are fully capable and they do trailer hitches all the time and uh, they know how to do the wiring and everything else whereas U-Haul I'm not so sure about that. Uh, I'd rather go and personally would go to a camping trailer place because they do that all the time. That's, that's, their, that's their bread and butter. So uh, that's another thing you can do. Hitch receiver capacity and weight. Uh, your max tongue load. 350 pounds, that's right. So whatever trailer you're towing, uh, the max hitch receiver weight is 350 pounds. Now keep that in mind when you are doing your uh, weight that that 350 pounds takes away from your actual vehicle weight uh, that you could carry as far as cargo. So uh, safety chains, all that stuff when you're towing. But uh, again, uh, anything else you know basically uh, whenever you do tow a trailer you want to make sure you do a couple things all the time and do them frequently and that is change the oil very often no more than 3,000 miles if you're towing 
you know, if you plan on towing, change the oil if you're going to go on a decent sized trip with it. Put fresh oil in there. Uh, the severe use is 3,000 miles. Transmission fluid, yeah, I think they had 20 or 30,000 miles for when you, if you're towing. So you want to make sure you do very frequent uh, transmission fluid changes. And uh, the transmission fluids range in differences to the 2015 through 2018 as that uh, 6F35 or, or 6F50 uh, uh, or in the sports 6F55. Uh, those are going to use the Mercon LV. Uh, as far as the uh, 2019 plus, you're going to be looking at the uh, 8F35 and the 8F57, uh, I believe is what it is. And those will use Mercon ULV transmission fluid. And if you thought the Mercon LV was expensive, try looking up the ULV. That's right. Going to cost you a few more duckies more. But uh, cargo capacities. Let's go over some cargo capacities so you guys get an idea when you're trailer towing uh, what you're looking at as far as weights. So I'm, I got a few scenarios that I'm going to go over. To tell you how much you can put in your car, how much you can put on your receiver, and how much you can actually tow. Now, whenever you get ready to do things, there's uh, something on your door sticker. It tells you payload. Now, payload is the combined weight of cargo and passengers that your vehicle can carry. It's that simple. So, whatever you're putting in your car and the weight of the hitch, that's a payload. So, keep in mind, look on your door sticker. It says maximum payload and it might be around say 950 or 850 pounds or something like that uh, that's really not a lot of weight when you think about it next we have the GAWR and that stands for gross axle uh, weight rating and it is the maximum allowable weight that a single axle front or rear can carry and these numbers are based on safety compliance certification labels and the label is located on the door hinge pit, pillar, door latch post, or door edge that meets the door latch post next to the driver's seating position and it will have the total GAWR. So yeah, you want to go look for that and uh, make sure you do it. Now the GVWR is a gross vehicle weight rating and uh, that is the maximum allowable weight on a fully loaded vehicle. This includes all options, equipment, passengers, cargo, and it appears in a safety compliance certification label. The label is located on the door hinge pillar, door latch post, or the door edge that meets the door latch post next to the driver's seating position. Uh, you can never exceed this limit. So just keep in mind, uh, that's the gross vehicle weight limit. Now, the GCWR is a gross combined weight rating, and uh, the GCWR is a maximum allowable weight of the vehicle and the tr loaded trailer, including all cargo and passengers that the vehicle can handle without risking uh, damage. The towing vehicle braking system is rated for operation at gross vehicle weight rating, not at gross combined weight. Separate functional brakes should be used for safe control of towed vehicles. In other words, you need to make sure that if you're towing, and I know in Iowa, I think anything over 1,500 pounds, you have to have trailer brakes. So you want to make sure you have brakes to assist with your braking because you cannot rely on your Ford Edge to do all the braking for you. Well, here's a few examples of uh, loading your vehicle for your, for your weight. Uh, suppose your vehicle has a 1,400 pound cargo and luggage capacity. You decide to go golfing. Uh, is there enough load capacity to carry you, four of your friends, and all the golf bags? You and your friends average 220 pounds each, and uh, uh, the bags weigh approximately 30 pounds each, and the uh, calculation would be, of course, you having about 150 pounds spare. So, you know, you're good to go as far as your weight. Uh, the other one is suppose you have 1,400 pound ca you know, capacity, cargo and luggage capacity, and uh, one of your friends decide to pick up cement and uh, from the local home improvement store to finish that patio. Yeah, buddy, you're helping him out. And uh, you have been planning for the past two years. Measuring the inside of the vehicle, the rear seat folded down, you have room for 12 100 pound bags. Uh, now, 
do you have enough load capacity to transport the cement to your home? And if you and your friend each weigh 220 pounds, uh, then you are 240 pounds over the weight limit. So you do not have enough cargo capacity to carry that much weight. Uh, so you got to reduce the load. It's that simple. You're going to have to, you know, kick him out and drop a bag out, you know, and then come back later or, or find another alternative means. But that's just a couple examples of how to figure this out. Now keep in mind, the edge will not have 1,400 pounds. This is just an example. But this lets you know what you're doing. And keep in mind, this does not include putting a trailer hitch and adding 350 pounds onto the hitch. So that takes everything into you know, consideration. Uh, you're quite limited on what you can actually pack in. So if you're a family of four adults, let's say, and then you got a 350 pound hitch, uh, and say each one of them is 200 pounds, that's 800 pounds. You have a payload capacity of 950. You see where we're going with this? It ain't going to work. So you have to take and take, pay attention to what you're doing because otherwise you exceed the towing limits and that can actually lead to legal ramifications uh, if you get into an accident with a vehicle that is overloaded. Uh, that could put you at fault. It will increase your braking distances, your acceleration will be slower, all sorts of things, not to mention the added stress and strain onto the drivetrain and the engine and everything else. The tires, you know, you could have a blowout of a tire because you've exceeded the capacity of the weight for the tire that you have on there, especially if you go out and buy the cheapest set of tires you can at Wally World, you're probably going to exceed that weight capacity easily. So buying good tires if you're going to tow, don't skimp on the tires, folks. Uh, pay the money for the right payload tires that you need when you're going to tow, and you won't have a problem. But overall, as far as towing goes, there's a lot of safety concerns in it and what you want to do. But rest assured, your Ford Edge 2-liter EcoBoost, 2.7 EcoBoost, whether it be a Sport or an ST, are all 3,500 pound capable. And if you don't have a hitch, you don't have to worry about it. Go to Ford, get it put on, and 3,500 pounds, your baby. That's right. That's as easy as it gets. No more of that first gen, 1.5 gen stuff where you got to have oil, uh, you know, coolers and all this other stuff. These things are already set up from the factory to tow. That's the main message I got for you. All you got to do is add the hitch and the wiring, and then you're ready to go. So that hopefully makes it simple for all of you that own a 2015 plus. Uh, the, the relays I showed you, everything's set up for it. It's ready to go. Anyway, beating that dead horse. Hope you liked this and found it very informative as far as that. Subscribe, that's right, hit that button down there. And uh, remember to watch the video. That's right, watch the whole video. Hit the ads if you really want to help give me a boost. And don't forget that like button. Gosh, I can't say that enough. I want to get a video of 500 likes someday. I'm not there yet, but someday I'll get them. Anyway, if you watch it, hit the like button. That just helps dramatically. And uh, let's see, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day too. Uh, Band of One's always got some great music. And Mercy Girl's got a couple one-liners. And hey, you can even find me on MeWe. That's right, Mac T Ford Edge on MeWe. Go up and join and check it out. That group is growing like fire. So anyway, you know, if you're tired of that Facebook thing, join the MeWe. We can get her going. You guys still here? Well, just maybe there might be something else after I get done here. Just got to watch.
Thank you for watching MacT's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.